Hi, Ren here with Canadian Energy. So our topic today is the Automatic Generator Start Module or AGS. So what is the purpose of the Automatic Generator Start Module? Well, the main function of it is to start and stop the generator based on battery voltage. So if the voltage gets low on the battery, it's going to signal the generator to start and then it's going to signal the generator to stop when the batteries reach a certain state of charge or voltage it's preset. It will also uh, operate on the uh, on the state of charge or battery monitor if that's in the system so so it'll measure depth of discharge versus versus just voltage. So the other feature of, of or one of the other features of the AGS is the quiet time feature. This feature is designed so so that the generator is not starting let's say during the middle of the night. Typically you would set it up so that uh, it doesn't start, the generator doesn't start between midnight, six o'clock in the morning. You don't want to wake people up in the camp or the cottage. So you program it to, uh, to be quiet during those hours. Another feature of the automatic generator start is the exercise feature. So this feature uh, engages or starts the generator periodically, depending on how you set it up, once a week, once a month, while, while the system is unattended, not in use. So it allows that generator to start, make sure it's gonna run, function, everything is working okay, instead of it sitting there being idle. And typically on, on this automatic generator start module, which is a Schneider Xantrax unit, it communicates to all the other components on the system, the Schneider components, via Zanbus network. So the, the, the components are all connected together via Cat5 cable, so that it's talking directly to obviously the inverter, um, the generator, the system control panel, uh, battery monitors and charge controllers so that they're all working together uh, as one in the system. So if you got any more questions on the AGS or other components in, in off-grid, uh, please visit our website cdnrg.com.